Lastly, we could actually draw directly here on the paper space. But let's reserve this space for labeling our drawings. All the functionalities you find in the model space, you could actually use it also here on paper space. However, let's reserve all models or drawings to be done specifically on the model space. And here on the paper space, we do the annotations, such as for example, including the dimensions. But I suggest rather not doing it here. But others prefer directly applying their dimensions here on paper space. But uh, for us, let's rather reserve this for labeling our drawing titles. Okay? So let's try to provide a uh, title for this. So let's create a new layer. So LA. Enter. And then new. Let's name it as layout title box and let's use red to represent point one and okay make sure that it should also flat and by the way here in the paper space you have here new additions on the layer columns associated with your layout so having created that let's create also a uh, new layer so layout text and let's use a different color maybe let's use uh, green then okay so that you could just readily see it on our paper space let's uh, double click first on layout title box to make it current and then close so let's create a uh, rectangle so rec enter and let's hover the mouse here without clicking and then drag your mouse to the north and then type 20 and that's 20 mm so enter so our first corner starts from that point and then click on this opposite corner so there's our title box and let's uh, select this uh, viewport and then drag its grip points here then let's just adjust this one so double click inside and then P enter and then adjust to the center and then escape then PS enter then control S to save so let's create new layers so LA enter and then new let's name it as layout dash one four point one and then new again so select that and then new then let's name it as layout dash two then let's change the color to yellow 4.2 then okay and close let's uh, select our point one so layout one and let's create a line first here starting from the midpoint of the title box towards the perpendicular let's create some text and let's just use a single line text so dt enter let's use justify and then let's use center and bring up the midpoint then zero rotation enter let's type door jump details and just click outside and then escape we haven't set a textile so let's create a new textile so st enter and Let's create new and then let's name it as ps dash let's say 5.5 mm text height so okay and of course we just place 5.5 here since we are in paper space 
So this is the actual exact height in paper space. And when it's printed, that will be the exact measurement. Then apply. And then let's close. Oh, and let's uh, set it as current. Then select this one. Let's go to annotate and select on PS 5.5. Let's go back to textile. Let's the enter. And let's just change the text font to Swiss. Apply. And let's just move this one. Move a little higher, around 2 mm. Create a uh, new text, so empty. Enter. And then from this to this area, let's type scale. One is to two meters. Then let's create another textile for this. So ST, enter. Let's create new. Let's name it as PS 2MM. Okay. And let's use again Swiss. And of course, this must be 2MM. Apply. Then set this current. Let's close. Let's select the text and choose the appropriate text style. So that one. And let's edit this one. Select all. And let's uh, spread it. Oh, it's ugly. Let's just provide some space here. And I guess that should be fine. Let's just uh, move it a little closer to the horizontal line. Around 2 mm again. And then just lengthen the text box. One more thing is let's create a circle. So circle, enter. I'll just uh, use this first as my center point. And let's provide a diameter. So D, enter, 1.8. So that's uh, 18 uh, mm. Enter. Let's move it uh, little closer to the title itself let's turn off the object snap but make sure that your orto is toggled on so there then just grip adjust this one then use appropriate layer for this the point two so layout two then let's create a line here. Object snap. Quadrant. So from quadrant towards the perpendicular. Maybe let's just uh, offset this one. To mm. Then adjust. And remove the, the offset. Then readjust the viewport. And I like this to extend beyond the circle. And let's complete this one. DT again. Enter. Currently we are in center justification. So let's click here. And then zero enter and then let's type let's say for example this is drawing number one and let's copy this one so co enter so turn off your ortho escape and then copy this one again and this time, turn on your orto. So, 
Let's say drawing one of architectural. So A. So architectural sheet one. Could just improve that later. And actually, that's how we label our drawings in AutoCAD rather than labeling your drawings here on the model space. It's better to label the drawing titles here on the paper space. And that's it for layouting in paper space.